why do you advocate the use of uh, videos? Well, I was cleaning up my garage the other day. Yeah? Best, okay. way, best way to describe that is like this. I was cleaning my garage the other day. I had my nephews, nieces around my house. Yeah. And I saw some of, some of my daughter's old VHS tapes, Barney, mm. and all these other type of uh, characters, right? And they didn't know what the VHS was. They didn't know. They didn't know what the device was, and they alone know what device is used to play that thing. Yeah. So there's one thing to know that's a VHS tape. Mm-hmm. It's another thing to know that VHS tape goes into VHS, VHS recorder. Yeah. The same way with, with disc, compact disc. They can see a compact disc. They can, what is that? Where does that go? You can look at floppy disks. That's a disc. Where does that go? Look at cassette tapes. It's a tape. Where does that go? So if you're into um, communication, yeah, you got to you got to you got to um, be able to use all the necessary technologies to communicate what you want to communicate, and you have to be living on a rock or underneath a rock to not realize that video is the number one form of medium for communication. Yep, you can communicate instantaneously. You could be omnipresent. That like this conversation, if you're streaming it live, will go instantaneously around the globe, faster, faster, or at least to the speed of light. Not faster than speed of light. That's impossible. But yeah as fast as you can, close to the speed of light. Instantaneously, everybody around the world can listen and hear your message. So communication is, is key. Um, coming from a people that have not been the best or historically been able to tell their own narrative, Yeah, it's important to use technology to ensure that when people are telling stories about us, or that there are stories and it's coming directly from the source. Or they'll write stories about us because we're not up to speed in technology. Technology is a great leveler in enabling people to, to punch above their weight. Mm. So I'm a big advocate for video, 100%. Mm. Mm. I mean, I before I started this, uh, uh, I got into video a lot a few years ago when I started uh, learning through YouTube, okay? Uh, like I told you, when we uh, initially talked, I had a stroke and I was indoors all the time and I had to start learning things in anew. So, and video was very instrumental for me to do that. Do that. And uh, I, I, I understand the impact of video. So when, when you do your, your thing, how much do your audience, the people you are trying to serve, how well, how well do they take it? Well, the, the whole audience, it's about communication. It's yes. about giving people choice. And um, when we in the media um, business create content, I think that's your referring to content. It could be video, it could be audio. But well, essentially, it's about be making sure information is accessible out of choice for anyone who wants to consume it. So sometimes my audience will want, might want it as a podcast. Yeah. So they can just listen to it. The good thing is with this video, you can decide to just keep the audio. You can decide yep. to upload the audio and video. You can decide mm-hmm. to slice and dice it on Twitter. You can yep. do lots of stuff with it. So it's about giving people choice to enable, to enable them to consume whatever you want to say in a way that's best suits them. That's what this is about. It's about being able to do that. And if you're if you got a message that you want to say, you know, um, and there's the, there's technology on your phone, you got a camera. You can yep. record to where your narrative is going to be cemented for history, if, particularly if you upload it. So I, I'm yeah. a big advocate for everybody to tell their stories. If you can create your own platform and you can drive traffic to your own tra- platform for people to watch your videos, go ahead. People no longer are, particularly in the develop, developed Western world, yeah. consuming video based upon what's, pub, what's pushed out by terrestrial television. You know, long gone are the days when the bulk of people wait for seven o'clock to watch or six o'clock to watch news, wait to 10 o'clock to watch news. 
you watch on demand, you watch you and you watch on your own terms. When you want to know news, you go, go online, you watch the news. So if you want motivation, you've got to go online and find somebody that's talking um, inspirational stuff when you want. No, sitting, waiting, and structuring your day around a yeah. broadcast schedule. That's why video is so, so important. You have to be up to speed, the technology, the entry points to, to get in the game has never been cheaper. The number yeah. one influencer on, on, on for video across TikTok is African. You know, the most watched person, I forgot his name. He's, he's a yeah. silent, uh, silent um, yeah, reaction I, I, videos, yeah? Yeah. He is African. And he started off with technology that is inferior to what most people in the Western world have in their phone, right? And he's the number one watch person on the globe, planet Earth. So there's, there's no excuses, you know? Um, you don't have to wait for anybody, just press record and share your, share your narrative to the world and let, let the market decide whether or not you're good enough. Don't let your family members talk, talk rubbish in your ear saying, hey, you, you want to say, hey, you're rubbish and you're this. Not about them. It's not about your friends. It's not about the family. Let the market decide. People who don't know you, who hear mm. your message, let them decide. You know your value in terms of video content. So I'm a big, like I said, I'm a big believer that we we have a responsibility. Those of us with voices, yeah, we have something to say. We have to say it, not just pass it down to our children. You know, we have to surpass that. You know, tell other people's children the philosophy of the village runs runs deep. You know, it takes a village to raise, raise a child. So, you know, I'm, these, these messages are not just for my own children. Yeah. Uh, my children don't listen to, to them. Maybe your children will listen to them. <laughs> you know, and who, who cares as long as it's moving, you know? So that, that's, my, um, that's my philosophy on life. Yeah, yeah.